so th that's a Zigbee four zones uh, wall panel is wireless is 240 volts so you just need live and neutral supply and it acts like a remote control so this one now is paired to two different Zigbee controllers uh, that's zone one that's zone two so how they respond if I click zone one and I say let green let's say it changes to green I go to zone two I say blue it will change to blue or I can change the zone from the touch um, touch color wheel here I can go back to zone one and say red let uh, as an example or now I can power off zone one by holding zone one here so that's powered off and I can uh, go to two so I can do the same for four zones I can also power off zone two and bring them back on both I can use power button to switch all the zones off so now we show you now uh, how to do this pairing those are paired already but how how to do that first of all we have to take one um, controller apart because they need to be close to be paired and the second step is make sure the controller is not paired to any other zone how do I understand this if you click any button other than the four zones and, it, and there is a blue light there uh, flashing ones it means that they are paired already so I have to reset this one and this one and the other controller before I do any pairing so uh, let's first reset this one five times program button one two three four five the lights will flash indicating that that that's a reset I can also reset my other controller so one two three four five flashing means successful reset and then we can reset our panel which is uh, hold the power button until the blue light is on and then one two three four five it will blink three times fast so this means that now this controller is reset so this Zigbee controller and those Zigbees are all reset now how do I know is successfully reset if I click any color there is no light I click RGBW nothing but don't try the four buttons on the top only any other color any other button other than the four zones on the top no flashing means is is reset so let's pair it now to zone one so to pair it to zone one remember that after power on or after reset you have to wait 15 seconds with a timeout of approximately 165 or 180 seconds so the important is after reset or after power on wait 15 seconds and then do this pairing so now let's try to pair it I like this one zone one so I select the zone I hold this power on until the indicator is on and I touch G once I have keep them close and this now will be paired to this is flashing and the lights will flash now indicating successful pairing to zone one flashing so this is already uh, successfully paired to zone one and I can try it after we finish so I click R you see red green blue W touch wheel everything is working at zone one so let's now take this away and pair the second controller so bring it close it's already reset 15 seconds definitely uh, passed and not more than 180 seconds so let's go to zone two simply touch two he keep the power button until the blue indicator is on touch G keep them close so it would be flashing and a flash of the LED strips will indicate pairing successful pairing to zone that we selected before that's ready now so let's bring them close and we have power on off so it controls all of them and let's select zone one red it's red zone two blue it's blue power off.